ceilings are made out of a tongue and groove pine and they're three quarter inch. Uh, there is a trough built into the, the roofing system and on top of that there's five inches of foam, styrofoam insulation. Our uh, electric bills this winter, the highest electric bill we've had I believe was $185 for heating. The range is a commercial range. Uh, that is rated for residential use because it's totally insulated. The top is sealed, so if you spill any water or anything onto the top of it, it's sealed so you can do immediate cleanup. If each gr griddle area, you could put a full griddle on it, which is why we didn't go to the cooktop itself. The oven is also a convection oven. It's a full-size oven, so you can get more than one uh, pan in it or anything so you don't have to have a second cook area. The range hood is also a commercial hood. It's built specifically for these type ranges. It runs through the attic and to the outside. The stove and the hood combined uh, ran a little bit over $4,500 for the two pieces. The uh, ventilation on the hood um, is all uh, dishwasher safe so you can pull the vents out and put them into the dishwasher. The sink is made by Echo, all stainless steel. It's a higher gauge of steel so that it resists scratches and heat. The faucets are also mowing. They have a lifetime warranty on those. If they start leaking or anything, they have a diamond filter in it. And we have the phone number that you can call to get it replaced. All of the interior walls in the house are not load-bearing. The only load-bearing walls are the exterior logs in the house. So you could re literally remove any portion of the wall inside the house and would it not affect the stability of the house. grill of course stays with the house and it is also cook, hooked up to our propane line so you don't have to have propane tanks for it. There's a little cutoff valve at the back of the grill here. You just turn it off or on to move the grill. We have a dual heat pump and air conditioning unit. The gas furnace is connected underneath the house and when it fluctuates by two degrees on the thermostat it will kick over to the gas tank, the gas heater and you can also do it manually by the auxiliary heater. Uh, the gas tank is rented, so the propane will stay uh, with the house. Most of the time our bill uh, this past month was $145 for the whole month for our heating and, and uh, using the uh, stove and everything. So the bills are really reasonable when we don't have the heat on. They run about $90 a month. So it's very low on that end. We just had the uh, propane tank service last month and filled and whatever propane is left in the tank will not be removed. It is a re rental tank so whoever buys the house will also get the whatever is remaining in the propane tank. The uh, property goes through the center of the creek down there includes that field and it comes up to the walnut tree here and over to the corner post and then goes up into the tree line right here and back around. There's 5.6 acres and it's all paved frontage on the road. Mm -hmm.